You planned your 16 year old's birthday party bash and then quarantine hit. What do you do? That is, <clears throat> excuse me, that is today's question on tips on teens. My name is Kent Toussaint. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, founder and clinical director of the group private practice, Teen Therapy Center. I'm also the executive director of the nonprofit organization, Child and Teen Counseling, both here in Woodland Hills, California, where we specialize in helping kids teens and families live happier lives. Every Wednesday at noon, I come into your feed and I answer your parenting questions. And here is today's. My son's 16th birthday is coming up. Originally, we had a huge party planned with all his friends invited, but that had to be canceled. He says it's fine, but my wife and I think he's putting on a brave face so as not to make us worry, sad. We know he was really looking forward to it. We are planning on having a small celebration with just the three of us instead, but I'm afraid he'll only see what is missing. Any advice on how to make the day fun for him? Great question. I think all of us can relate to this. I think all of us had something going on the last several weeks, many weeks and many weeks going forward that have it be canceled or delayed or just missed, and it's frustrating. Um, so first I want to say that the disappointment that he may be feeling is totally understandable. And the same with the disappointment that you may be feeling too. Uh, I think it's it's normal to have that disappointment. You know, he's only has one 16th birthday party and you've been planning it for a long time and everyone's ready to go, you know, all these things planned and now it's not happening. And I think it's important to allow that to be here. It's okay to have that disappointment. Um, it's normal. I think both things can be true. We can have the disappointment of the reality of the situation but also the understanding of what is going on and find appreciation for what we can do. I think all those can coexist at the same time. Um, I, there's a lot of things you can do. The, I'm sure people have been you know, searching online for ideas. Uh, some of the fun things I've seen are car parties where one drives up to a big empty parking lot, everyone stays in their cars and waves hi and says hi, but it's hard to kind of have that connection except for yelling at each other. Um, one idea I think is really cool that I found is a chalk party. And that is when all his friends come to the neighborhood and they write on the, uh, the sidewalk through the neighborhood, have birthday greetings. And then once they're all done, the three of you go walk through the neighborhood and see all the happy birthday greetings. I think it's kind of cool. Um, he'll probably also want to connect with his friends online and that's okay. I think it's great that you guys are having your own small, intimate family gathering, do something fun, do something creative, do something you haven't done in a long time or something you've never done. Do a paint party where all you get paints and easels and you know canvases and you all paint together with some really cool music. I don't know, just find something fun and, and entertaining. I think what's really important is that we as parents don't let our disappointment project onto our kid's disappointment. He may be disappointed, again, that's fine. But I think it's important that our disappointment doesn't project on him. And what I mean by that is there's a very fine line between empathy and then dumping our, our sadness or our fear or our anxiety on someone else. It's okay to be transparent and let him know that you're disappointed too. But you don't want to push it on him. You want to still have that sense of hope and that sense of confidence so he can lean on you. And that way he doesn't feel that he needs to take care of your feelings. Because he's 16, he's not qualified for that yet. Um, so make sure that you're trying to find the silver lining and maybe he can too. And maybe, maybe he is not keeping the brave face or maybe the brave face is enough where he gets it. Um, so it's important to let him have his feelings and support him and, uh, be there and just, and focus on having fun. I think it's really important. Um, I think there was something else I was going to say about this and it's slipping my mind. And I'll probably remember it as soon as I log off. And if I do, I'll, I'll put it on the messages uh, below. But anyways, I really want to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, these are great questions I think we can all relate to. Please keep your questions coming. And if you want your question answered next week, you can email me at tipsonteens at teentherapycenter.com. The email is in the wording below. You can be there. And um, hope you guys are all staying safe and comfortable and healthy. And again, my name is Kent Toussaint from Teen Therapy Center. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.